Welcome back to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, straight to the story. <sighs> okay. Uh, now, I should be within 10 yards of them. Uh, I gotta make sure I shut 18 down, then destroy her. Otherwise, Cell's going to absorb her. Uh, this is my only shot. Better make it count. You hard now. See ya. <gasps> you. <gasps> That's an emergency shutdown remote control. Why does he have that? Uh, sorry, Bulba. Huh? Go on, get out of here while you still can. Avoid Cell and live your life. Why did you... Why did you destroy that? That was your only chance. It's... Uh... Man's desperate. If I could achieve my perfect form... Power, speed, technique, intelligence. I would be perfect in every way. The computer told me as much. Is this true? Could achieving this perfect form of yours actually close the gap between us? How many times are you gonna make me repeat myself? You, you would have no hope of defeating me. At least not as you are right now. Hmm. Father, don't tell me you're... You say and say your warriors through and through. I would think you'd want to at least test your metal against my perfect form. Fine, I'll fall for your little ruse. Go ahead and get this perfect form you've been babbling on about. Go on! Father! <laughs> My father may be willing to let you go, but I'm not! Hey, Vegeta! Do something about this guy, would ya? Huh? It's 18. So she was hiding there the whole time. <laughs> I'm so close to perfection, I can taste it. Father, what you're doing is wrong. We can't let him absorb 18. <laughs> Where's your sense of pride? Don't you want to see how much stronger he can get? No. I've seen enough bloodshed and destruction in my future. My eyes! Okay, that sounds wrong. Perfect Cell is here. So there it is. 
Cell had finally absorbed Android 18 and achieved his perfect form. In a fit of rage, Krillin launched himself at Cell, but was effortlessly sidelined by Cell's newfound strength. Krillin, having been brought back from the brink of death thanks to a senzu bean from Trunks, was overwhelmed by the power of Cell's perfect form. Vegeta, excited by the prospect of fighting a more worthy opponent, taunted Cell into continuing their fight. Cell calmly accepted Vegeta's challenge and prepared to engage him in battle once more. Achieving Perfection <laughs> Would you care to take part in a little warm-up? Sure! A warm-up you won't survive! We'll see about that. From the looks of it, this perfect form of yours doesn't seem like it was worth the wait. Is that so? Chance. Let's try this next. It's just a cheat code, honestly. It's just a cheat code, basically. is moving in the opposite direction now. Why would that be? <laughs> oh, whatever. I think it's about time to kill you. What are you doing, Trunks? If you don't get in there, Vegeta's gonna die! My father would rather be defeated by Cell than have me, Goku, or anyone help him. He's that proud of a warrior. Hey, I, I get that, but still... If my father loses consciousness while fighting Cell, I'll step in. <laughs> Impressive. It looks like you're still holding on to what little life you got. It didn't show the final flash. Lame. Allow me to put you out of your misery, Vegeta. Trunks. I'm gonna kill you, Cell. Quite a gutsy thing to say, Trunks. Krillin, take my father and get him out of here. Right, you got it. <laughs> Trunks' power level is taking a massive dive. Cell's power level is through the roof. Did he overpower Trunks? Not good. Vegeta, come on, Vegeta, wake up! You didn't show it. <laughs> 
that I'm rather disappointed in you and Vegeta. I expected more from you two. I mean, don't tell me this has been a waste of my time. Now, just one last question. It's interesting. Although it ultimately proved meaningless, you were able to greatly increase your power in a very short period of time. If you had more time, would you be able to power up even further? It's hard to say without actually trying. Why would you ask me something like that? <laughs> so it is a possibility. Next question. Why hasn't Goku shown his face yet? I mean, what could he possibly be doing that's more important than this? Goku is training to take you down. No matter what you do, he'll be ready to fight you tomorrow. If you're looking for a real challenge, and it sounds like you are, then Goku won't disappoint. Trust me. Glad to hear it. Then maybe I'll hold a little tournament. A tournament? Let's make it mm, 10 days from now. Say 12 o'clock, that should give you time to better your skills if that's possible. No, what are you talking about? I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but there used to be a martial arts tournament known as the World Tournament. I think it's high time we brought that back. One small change, in this tournament I'll be the only opponent. I'll fight you one victim at a time, and if I win, the next challenger enters the arena and fights me, and then the next, and the next, until I'm the last one standing. I'll spread the word of the tournament, its rules, and its location soon. Perhaps we can even have the whole thing televised. <laughs> what fun. Uh, wait, Cell. What's the point of holding a tournament? What's your end goal? The tournament will showcase my strength and true greatness, and plunging the world into terror will be a nice little bonus as well. And my end game is... I don't have one. I mean, maybe to have a little fun toying with you halfwits, destroying, tormenting, lording over you. But my real passion, of course, is... to see the look on people's faces as they cower and realize that all hope is lost. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you can do. The Tournament of Cell. <clears throat> After reviving Vegeta and Krillin with some Senzu beans, Trunks told them about the tournament Cell was planning to hold. Uh, a tournament? He's just toying with us. Damn him! I... I plan on entering the hyperbolic time chamber again, once Goku and Gohan are out. You and Kakarot will only get in the way. I will be the one to enter that room and finish this! Uh -huh. I... I too will enter the tournament. Please, take me to the Capsule Corporation and have me repaired. I will prove useful. Are you crazy?! You're one of Dr. Giro's androids! Okay. I'll take you. Truth be told, we could use as many allies as we can get. Krillin. Relax, Trunks. I have a feeling this guy's not so bad after all. I mean, the two other androids Cell absorbed didn't seem that bad either. You said it yourself. These androids and history itself are different from what you know. <laughs> But now, you won't go and go and continue their intense training in the hyperbolic time chamber. Super Saiyan. Through his rigorous training, Gohan was finally able to achieve this Super Saiyan transformation, but his grueling quest to become stronger was far from over. Gohan, you've gotten so much stronger than I thought you would. It's pretty impressive. I hope so. It's hard to tell, though. But I gotta say, you haven't come close to reaching your full potential yet. 
got a lot more in you. I just know it. Really? What do you say? Think it's time to finish up our training? Finish it? Yep. Come at me with everything you've got. And don't hold back. Try your best to take your old man down, huh? Well, I can't do that. But I'll do what I can. Battle! Come on, Gohan. Let's see what you've got. Come on now. I forget that it moves. Hey. <laughs> I don't think so. This is for the world tournament. wrong right uh, <laughs> said it's so wrong dad we're probably gonna need more time before we go beyond super saiyan don't you think i mean come on <laughs> i just learned how to become one so i have no clue what i would even do to go further than that i think i just might know what to do about that huh we just need to get our bodies used to staying in the Super Saiyan form. What do you say? Think the two of us can manage that, Gohan? Staying in the Super Saiyan form? Yep. We treat Super Saiyan as our normal state of being. You understand? 
Anytime we're awake and moving around, that's the form we'll be in. First, we'll learn to control the more emotional aspects of the transformation. That makes the most sense, right? Then, once we do that, we'll start our training up again from the basics. This could work out. I know it's not exactly straightforward, but I really think this is our best shot at going beyond Super Saiyan. Uh, uh, okay. But now, loading screen. Loading screen that foretells the future. After informing Trunks of the tournament, Cell constructed an arena in a nearby deserted area. He then forced his way into a TV station and via live broadcast delivered his terrifying message to the entire world. His tournament, known as the Cell Games, would be open to all and begin in just nine days. Cell then declared that if all participants were to fail, he would eliminate all known life on the planet. In order to prove that he meant business about his threat, he easily reduced a section of the city to rubble. Cell's ultimatum proved effective in its purpose as the world had become utterly gripped in fear. Recent peace had weakened army and police forces, now powerless to confront the new enemy. People had already seemed to have forgotten about the young boy who had stopped the evil demon King Piccolo. They were also unaware of Vegeta, the Saiyans, and the others that fought Frieza on Namek. Goku was no more than a long forgotten memory. <laughs> what you trying to say here? Damn that cell. This is just a game to him? No way. I can't believe he actually went on television and told everyone. If none of us can beat him, he's going to kill everyone on Earth. And now the whole world is panicking. I hope Goku and Gohan are almost done with their training. There are still three hours left before the full day is up. <laughs> no guarantee they'll come out after exactly one day. No need to rush. We've got nine days until the games. Huh? That's Goku and Gohan's energy. Are they out already? What? What are they... What are they doing out this early? What? Vegeta and Trunks? You guys are here too? Cell must still be alive. What happened? I can still sense his energy. Huh? That's Gohan. He looks so different. What? They're... They're still Super Saiyan? Wait. Something is different. They seem... calm. Someone get us up to speed on what's going on. Uh, right. Here's what happened. Fade to black. The Cell Games, huh? So, he's holding a tournament. Honestly, that sounds kind of fun. Mr. Popo, you still got my uniform? Oh, yes. I have it right here. Mr. Piccolo, I'd like some new clothes, too. Like yours. Sure thing. You're gonna look real good in this. Yay! <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Piccolo. So, tell me, think you have what it takes to beat Cell? Not sure. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting him in this perfect form of his yet. Actually, I'll go do that now. Hmm. There we go. XP. XP. Lots of XP. Oh, it's Goku. Yep, in the flesh. So what do you think? 
Goku. Are you willing to let the fate of your world be decided in this ring? Kind of small for something like that, wouldn't you say? <laughs> so that's your perfect form. Yes. Yes, indeed. You can count on me being here for the tournament. But until then, don't go killing anybody. Not one person. Got it? We're gonna have a great match. Man, he's gotten way stronger than I thought he would. So, Goku, what do you think? I'll be completely honest. I didn't think he'd power up as much as he did. Okay, so... I won't know for sure until I fight him, but... I'm probably not gonna be strong enough to beat him. Uh, no way! Then just go back into the hyperbolic time chamber. We've got the time. Nah, me and Gohan will train outside. We got nine days. We'll figure something out within that time. But why? You still haven't used up a full day. Why in the world would you waste one of the two days of your life you're allowed inside that chamber? Because that place can really put your body through the ringer, if you know what I mean. We could use some quality rest right now. Well, well, look at that. Even the mighty Kakarot wasn't nearly tough enough to handle the room. Fine. You might be right about that. But training there anymore wouldn't do us any good. But don't let me stop you. If you guys want to head back inside, go right on ahead. Besides, it looks like you could use some more training. What? You have some nerve. You don't actually think you're stronger than me now, do you? Don't make me laugh! Yeah, a lot stronger, actually. What? All right. Keep at it, you guys. See you all at the tournament, okay? Gohan, let's go. Oh, right. Only nine days remained until the Cell Games tournament. So, uh, you're not gonna make me do any filler this time, are ya? Mm, I sense filler approaching. I sense cut content. Goku and Gohan returned home for some well-earned rest after their intense training. Here's the plan. We'll rest for three days train for three days, and then rest another three. How does all that sound? Dad, uh, are you sure that's okay? You think we can beat Cell? Trust me, we'll be fine. Goku, I need you to come back to the house. Huh? Chi-Chi? Oh, it's filler. Oh, it's filler, I know it. I know filler when I see it. Why are you making those random noises? Filler. Filler is approaching. So I may be cutting this out. I sense it. Filler is approaching. Yep. There's no place like home. Filler is approaching. Goku, you're finished training, right? Then let's go somewhere as a family. Well, I'm not completely finished, but okay, sure. Good, it's settled. Now that Goku finally has his license, we can borrow a large car from my father and take a relaxing drive to the lake as a family. Okie dokie. Anything we should bring? I'll put some lunch together for us. Can I count on you for some meat and fish? Meat and fish. I can remember that. How much? I'll need exactly... Okay, this is getting cut out. After having been dispatched to defeat the monster known as Cell, the Royal Guard has been utterly decimated due to one of Cell's attacks. I repeat. It's been an hour. That's terrible! Those were innocent people. That monster! 
Chi Chi, I need to talk to Piccolo about something. I'll be right back. Goku. And he's gone. What does he need to talk to Piccolo about? I I'm not sure. Is there more filler? I've been going at it for an hour now. Probably longer. <clears throat> Yo! Goku, what is it? You don't think you'd be able to go back to how you used to be before merging with Kami, do you? What? Well, merging with Kami made the Dragon Balls disappear, right? And I want to use the Dragon Balls to wish all the people back who were killed by Cell. Sorry, but it's not like flipping a switch. We're stuck together forever. Exactly why I needed to think so long and hard about it before coming to a decision. Wow. That must have been a tough call. Hmm. I know. Maybe I could ask one of the Namekian survivors to come to Earth. If he agrees to stay here, we'd have a new guardian. And you know what that means? The Dragon Balls would come back, baby! That's a wonderful idea. Wait here. Fingers crossed. With King Kai's assistance, Goku managed to zero in on the Namekian survivors' new home world. Upon arriving via instant transmission, Goku was given a hero's welcome by the planet's residents. Goku explained Earth's predicament and <coughs> asked the new Grand Elder Mori if he knew any candidates suited to becoming Earth's new guardian. As luck would have it, Mori knew just the person for the job. It was none other than... Dende! Dende? P Piccolo! It's been too long! Wait one sec! I'll have Gohan and Krillin here in a jiffy! Let's see... What? <laughs> Guys, meet Earth's new guardian! Is that really you, Dende? It's been ages! Hey, can you believe Blondie here is actually Gohan? Krillin! Gohan! It's great to see you two! Are... are you really gonna be the new Guardian? That's right! I'm really glad our paths could cross again. Dende, is it true that you can restore the Dragon Balls? Yes, I can. Making a new set would take about a hundred days. But if we use the inert set already on Earth, I should be able to have them working in no time. Really? That's perfect! We would then get three wishes, right? Same as on Namek? Yes. So, would we be able to wish back multiple people like last time? I suppose that could be possible. I mean, I'd have to make the proper adjustments. But if you did that, it would count as two wishes. Oh? Huh? Is that all? Fine by me. Let's do it. All right. I'll begin right away. The Dragon Ball should be restored now. Wait, what? Already? Incredible. Looks like this little guy has some serious power. I'll round up all the Dragon Balls then. Gohan, consider your training complete. Kick back with Dende until the Cell games start. Huh? But... Hey, don't worry. It'll be fine. Later. <coughs> well, time to get looking. You're joking. You're joking. More filler. It's been an hour. More filler. This will be back in another hour. For reference, this is what it looks like. There's one! Wow! Dende was right! Hmm. Got them all. Took a while. Go go get Dragon Balls, Dende, for safekeeping. Looks like they're back in working order. I'll say. Thanks, Dende. Dende. I didn't know when you're ready to fight. Yes. So, are you ready for the showdown with Cell? 
Yes. That's great. Good luck. Tough. Everyone was focused on the fight ahead, and before they knew it, the fated day of May 26th had finally arrived. All right, time <coughs> to go. Don't you dare die on me, Goku! Don't worry, I won't, Chi Chi. And my little Gohan better not fight! What? Well, uh, um. Promise me, Goku! Promise me, Gohan won't fight! Look at the time! Bye! <laughs> <laughs> my little Gohan's going to fight! I can feel it! Oh, you know it. There you are. It's almost time. Wait, where's Vegeta? Don't tell me. Is he in the hyperbolic time chamber again? He went on ahead of us. Gotcha. Man, he's really raring to go. Uh, yeah. Well... Whoa, why is everyone so down in the dumps? Goku, we've got some bad news. We can bring back a lot of people at once using just one wish with the Dragon Balls. Just like before, we can't bring back anybody that's died once already. I'm sorry. I should have told you sooner. What? That's all? Relax, Dende. We just won't die. It's as simple as that. B won't die? Uh, you do know that we're up against Cell, right? Yeah, I know. Anyway, let's get going. We're gonna be late. How are you this calm? You're starting to freak me out. Come on. You want to get left behind? So, are you coming too, Krillin? <laughs> uh, yeah. Ha! Was that... A... Why do y'all do that? Why? Well, with that, that's the end of the video. We'll see you next time on the Cell Games. Bye-bye.